Alright, this is our lesson on the Mixolydian mode. Um, last week we started with a little mode lesson primer, uh, basically just uh, talking about what modes are, where they come from. Uh, the Mixolydian mode is the fifth mode of a major scale. Uh, it's the only mode that fits over a dominant chord or a dominant seventh. So if I say we're playing G7, uh, G Mixolydian will work over that. Um, it, by itself it's kind of a boring sound but we're going to use it as a jumping off point for some other uh, ideas so it's, it's kind of good just to get the, the basic framework out of the way here um, we're going to be doing uh, G Mixolydian because it's the uh, it's the fifth mode of C major which is all natural notes so it'll just make it a little bit easier for us to find stuff as we're doing this and we're going to start in the uh, pattern four or uh, E out of the cage system uh, so you're going to have roots on the 1st, 6th, and 5th uh, 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 string, 3rd um, fret on the 1st and 6th, and then 5th fret on the 4th string. Starting on my middle finger, on the 6th string, what we do is we're going to be going two, or 3, 5, and then 2, 3, 5 on the 5th string, 2, 3, 5 on the 4th string, 2, 4, 5, on the uh, on the third string, then we have to shift up a position and go three, five, six on the second string, and then three and five on the first string, and then going back down. So if I was actually to practice this, and we want to learn these just the same as we do any of the other uh, scales that uh, that we've learned in this uh, in these lesson series, um, you want to do them with the metronome uh, eighth notes. Uh, 16th notes, triplets, because uh, this is going to be a pretty long lesson. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that, but I'm just going to run through it one time so you can hear it. Um. Okay, so that's pattern four, G Mixolydian. Uh, the next root up is going to be on the fourth string, fifth fret. Uh, we're going to start on our middle finger again. Uh, because that note is on the fourth uh, string, we have notes on the uh, fifth and sixth strings. We're going to talk about how to practice this in a minute. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing uh, fifth and seventh on the uh, fourth string, four, five, seven on the third string, five, six, eight on the second string, and then five, seven, eight on the first string. And then back down. Now, below that root in that position, it's, it's important to know every note in the position. So uh, you're going to have to go on the fifth string, eight, seven, five, and then on the sixth string, eight, seven, five. Um, in order to, to practice these well, I think one thing that you really should do is always start and end on the root when you're when you're doing this with the metronome. What it does is it helps fix the sound of the of the scale in your head even though it's all the same notes as C major because of where we're starting and ending it uh, and the chords you're going to be playing it over, it's going to have a, a very specific sound if you do it right. But part is you have to train your ear to hear what Mixolydian sounds like and the easiest way to do that is to practice it by starting and ending on the root to get a start on this. So, if I was practicing this, I'd start on the lowest root in the position and I would go up, back down the scale, I would go past the root and get every note below it and then return there and just kind of get the sound of that Mixolydian mode in your head. Uh, if I was to start on the in that same pattern and start on C which would be the the root for the major scale sounds sounds kind of different and uh, as we get into like the minor modes and whatnot, you're gonna you really hear that difference. Okay, so pattern one is the next one going up the fretboard. The roots are on the uh, 10th fret, 5th string, 8th fret, 2nd string. We're gonna start on our 4th finger because the bulk of this scale is gonna be in the 7th position. So you've got 10th um, fret on the 5th uh, string, and then on the 4th string we have 7, 9, and 10. 3rd string, 7, 9, and 10. 2nd string, 8 and 10. First string is going to be 7, 8, and 10. We're going to go back down on the root, and then to get the notes below the root, we're going to have um, the 
8, 7, and then on 6th string, 10, 8, and 7. And then back up. So practicing, it's going to sound like this. Two uh, roots on the tenth fret, fifth string, twelfth fret, uh, the third string. We're gonna start on our middle finger, and on the fifth string we're gonna go ten, twelve, and then nine, ten, twelve on the fourth string, nine, ten, twelve on the third string, uh, ten, twelve, thirteen on the second, and also on the first strings. Go back down. Below that, uh, to get the notes below that in the pattern, we're gonna have 13, 12, and 10 on the sixth string. All right, so practicing, it'll be. Ending on, on the root right there. Uh, the last pattern, the fifth pattern we're gonna be dealing with today, uh, root pattern three or G from the cage system. We're gonna start on our fourth finger. Uh, the roots are on the 15th fret, 1st and 6th strings, and then the 12th fret on the 3rd string. So we've got 15th on the 6th string, and then we go 12, 14, 15 on the 5th string. Same thing on the 4th string, 12, 14, 15, and then we go 12, 14 on the 3rd string, and then 12, 13, 15 on both the 2nd and 1st strings. We bring that back down. And then the two notes below the root in this pattern are the 13th and 12th frets on the 6th string. So if I practice it... And there you have it. That's your Mixolydian mode in the five positions. Uh, not the most exciting lesson, but we kind of have to get the stuff under your fingers before we try and do any playing with it. Um, this is uh, going to be kind of the first in, in a series of lessons where we're going to take a mode apart and kind of work on some different sounds that we can get out of and some different applications. Uh, so this this will probably run a few more than this just to get started. Uh, and we're going to be doing a lot of playing in the next few lessons. Not, not as much scale drill or any of that junk.